Welcome back to Perfectly Average Golf, and the final episode of Perfectly Average Golf versus Myrtle Beach. Today our series comes to an end on one of the most famous courses in all of Myrtle. As the second oldest course in the area, this course is regularly rated as the number one course in Myrtle Beach. Boasting history dating back to 1948 and a stretch of holes nicknamed Alligator Alley, today we're playing the tips ranging over 7,000 yards and rating at over a 76 overall rating. Gorgeous views, outline tight fairways, and narrow greens, meaning we need to bring our best game to finish off this series. So for the final time, we ask ourselves, can an average golfer break 90 of Myrtle's best golf courses? Today we find out at the best golf course in Myrtle Beach, the Dunes Golf and Beach Club. Average golfers, welcome back and welcome to the very last episode here at Myrtle Beach. We are at the number one course in Myrtle, as you saw by the intro. It is a chilly morning, but it's starting to get nice and warm. Sun is shining. I could not be more excited. We are tipping out Dunes Golf and Beach. Whew. Let's let that settle in for a moment. I'm excited to get out here. It is a 76 rating from the tips, playing 7,500 yards, and the slope is 149. The maximum slope you can have is a 155, so this course is gonna play pretty difficult. First hole up is a 425, par four. Bunkers are squeezing this fairway, but for the most part, it looks pretty open. We got driver. Let's have a great day, come on. Well, not the opening tee shot we really wanted, but hey, it's in the fairway. It didn't quite sneak into the fairway bunker. We got about 180 yards. We've started to realize after the three episodes we've had here so far that we're going to need to take an extra club to a lot of these greens, not only because we're at sea level and we're losing about five to 10 yards worth of distance, but also these new irons are just really inconsistent. So we got 100 in about 75 yards. Front pin though, so we're going to take a little extra to get behind it. We got six iron. Good, a little left. Yeah, just front side of the green. Took a nice easy swing, got great contact, up and down for par, come on. Hmm. All right, we'll get in the first, not bad though. Figuring out greens is gonna be, I think, 90% of the battle here today. We did not have a great episode three on the greens at Tidewater. These are pure, and I mean pure greens. So it's gotta really gotta get a feel for the speed. Chip was solidly hit, but too fast. Same thing with the putt. Mentally take that in, on to the next. All right, about another 400 yard par four. Big dog leg to the left though. There's bunkers that are in the fairway. We're gonna use that as our aiming line with seven wood. It only takes about 230 to get there. So hopefully with a little draw off those bunkers, we should be in the middle of the fairway. That should be really good. Yeah, I don't know if it got quite to the fairway. It saw like it hit a couple of trees up there. That's gonna be real solid. Be the right number. <laughs> a little short, but we're dancing, boys and girls. Come on. First par, come on. 452, par four. That pretty much that straight away again. A little elevated green as we start to drive up towards it, but driver here should be more than fine. Let's go, nice and straight, come on. All right, we had some decisions to make here. The pin is right through where these trees are, so we're not gonna be able to really get there. So we could try to go over, but I'd take like a nine iron, I think, to get over that. Otherwise, I could saw off about a five iron, try to play through the gap and then hook it back. That's about a 170 yardage. So I think we're gonna go the low route here and just play the easy five, try to keep the hands low. See if we can get this thing to turn over, maybe still give us a chip or maybe even better a putt. Oh, it's turning so nicely. Yeah. Just stayed over to the right side. There's a bunker over there, but 
Yeah, we turned that beautifully. <laughs> Should be a chip and a putt from there. We just snuck into the bunker, so I'm gonna put the camera here so you can see the ball come up. Than I thought, but that's a great stand up and down. 520 plus yard par five, first one of the day. Uh, dog looking to the left. There are some bunkers that are in the fairway that are going to be the target aiming line. Uh, this should set up pretty nicely for this draw slash kind of hook that we're playing. Uh, so we're just going to try to go right down the cut and hopefully it just kind of bleeds a little left for us. Let's get some solid contact. We just stayed out of the bunker on this par five. We have enough distance to get there, uh, but with this lie, I just don't feel good about it. There's water that's guarding the screen short. So we're gonna play a layup right side. You may be able to see the green side bunker on the right. We're taking nine iron, hitting about a 150 shot. It should leave us about 100 yards in. Pretty much perfect. <laughs> no stress pars. All the par threes out here at Dunes Golf and Beach are all pretty long based on the scorecard. This one is 220 yards from the back. Four iron for me on this trip has been a little all over the place. Sometimes it goes 210, sometimes it goes 170. It's really kind of in between, but we're into the wind, so we're gonna take seven wood nice and easy. Hopefully just play for the neck of the green and give ourselves a putt. How about these speeds? Wow. No stress pars. <laughs> feeling good, feeling great. Sub right now if you haven't. Last episode for Myrtle and we're playing some solid golf so far. 435, the next par four. Bunker in the left side of the fairway before it starts to dog leg. It's about 285 to cover a bunker on the left-hand side of the fairway. Obviously, we're not gonna be going for that. We're just gonna try to play off the right side of it. Tighter landing space, but driver's been good. Let's keep it up. Not a good drive. Pretty bad miss hit, but it's actually not that bad of a position to be in. A little punchy four, playing towards the front of the green. I don't think we're able to fully get there, but we'll give it a try. Yep, pitching a putt, hopefully. <laughs> and right, but it's putting. <laughs> mm. That's fine, I'll take that. These long putts are getting awfully close, scaring the hole a little bit. <laughs> Far four, dead straight away. Uh, it's about 420, 440, somewhere in between there. We've got driver, we gotta hit driver straight. We had a great driver day at Tidewater, and so far we've been a little all over the place. Need one good solid swing with driver here to get us really heating up. Let's go. Well, we hit it hard, but that's for sure gonna be the trees. There's a lot of space over there though, so we may have to do another little punch and pitch type action. I, I hit that solid though. We just gotta find a way to get the slice out and get that draw back. We're getting close, getting close. All right, unfortunately I can't find it. Um, it's not as much space as I thought, and there are backyards over here, so 
Uh, we're gonna treat this as if we hit a provisional and we ended up in this department. So this would actually be hitting four. We don't have a look at the green. This is really an unideal situation in every sense. Gonna try to punch something just past this tree. We gotta get up and down for double here, I think, probably. Ooh, got a little help off that tree, actually. We have a good angle at the green from there. I think we're gonna like that. Well, that's good. At least we hit one good shot this hole. Hi. That's tough scenes. I mean, I, I got lucky. The people that were supposed to be playing with me today didn't show up, but it's foursomes everywhere else. If I would have known there was OB over there, I would have just reloaded and hit another one. But going back and hitting from the tee is really not an option with how busy this course is. So tough scenes, move on. Oh well, we got to get driver to go straight though. That needs to be a priority. All right, another pretty big par five here. Uh, helping win though. So like we just mentioned, we need driver to go straight. Come on, let's get this ball in the air in the right direction. All the things we want. That's freaking money. That's what we needed. I've right, got about 260 left. Um, a little helping wind still, but there's a lot of space behind the green, so we're gonna smooth the three wood and hopefully give ourselves a chance. If not, maybe put it on. Uh, hooked it a little to the left. All right, left side of the green, maybe in the bunker, may not be. <sighs> Fairway woods, been a little weird for us this trip. I didn't see any turn in that. That's just a bad read. All right, bad read, tilt at the par. Par three, front pin, 185 to the pin, lots of space behind. So we're taking an extra club. We've got five iron, just gonna try to smooth it on in there. We've been playing a pretty good draw with these clubs. So we're gonna kind of go off and try to start the line towards the bunkers, left side of the right bunkers, and then hopefully draw it back in. Ball short, rolled to the left, nearly ended up pin high. <laughs> oh, oh my. How about that for a two? <laughs> pin slam. Played with my emotions from start to finish. <laughs> Unbelievable birdie. Four over on the front nine. What? <laughs> we got ourselves hole 10, par four, dead straight away. Two ponds though, one that we have to cover here off the tee box, no worries. And then a second that's a little bit closer towards the green. We don't want to hit anything more than about 260 yards. Um, we are into the wind, but I'm still gonna take seven wood here just to hit a nice smooth shot. Um, and it should give us uh, maybe about 120, 130 yards in. Hopefully still a wedge though, let's go. Should be more than fine though. A little right of desire, but we'll take it. That's a pretty poor putt. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, broke more at the end than in front. Tough. Ooh. Lipping for bogey. Tricky par four here on 11. It's about 430 yards. There's a bunker dead in the middle of the fairway and it has a pretty steep dog leg to the right. The green, uh, you actually can see from the tee box, but <laughs> there's no way you can get there. Uh, we got driver. There's some trees that look like they're guarding the fairway, but I don't think they actually are as much as they seem to be. So we're gonna take driver, and if we end up kind of pulling it towards the trees with a draw, I think we're gonna be fine. So here we go. Let's keep that driver going, it's nice and solid. Yeah, 
Yeah, saw it down. Surprisingly no draw. I feel like I really whipped my hands around there too to make sure, but oh well, straight ball's fine. <laughs> All right, got some trickery here. These trees are kind of guarding us from being able to go at the green, at least at the pin directly. Uh, it's about 155, 153 yards. We're gonna saw off an eight iron and try to play a bit of a bleeder, um, hoping to get at least left side of the green, if not possibly fade this thing closer towards the pin. This is a tricky shot, but I think we got it. Well, it went pretty straight, but that'll work out. Yeah, okay, chip it a putt. That's fine, that's perfectly fine. Really good. Nice. A little uphill putt for par. Ooh. Pretty much a dead straight putt. That for bogey. Okay, Let's see if we can get a par here. The pin's about 185, but it's over a little bit of the marshlands here. Um, and I think it's gonna play a little long today. So we're gonna take an easy four, just a nice, smooth, easy four. The launch angle on this stays pretty low. We have plenty of space behind the pin. So let's see. Let's get some good contact. Maybe we'll pull something out here. Oh, just over the back. Tough chip, just gotta get it on. Hopefully it trickles down, should go left or right. Slow down. Be really good, go in. <laughs> oh no way dude did you guys see that <laughs> let's go that is <laughs> that's stupid that's stupid let's go what a way to make it too <laughs> come on with it come on with it oh my gosh that's so big absolutely buzzing after that oh man sometimes better lucky than good that time maybe a little bit of both <laughs> part five here big one really big one it curves all the way around this lake um, and this the landing space gets really really narrow here on this first shot so considering that we're not gonna be able to get there in two anyways we're just gonna take a nice safe three wood don't want to threaten with the water too much just get something in play try to get on in three come on buzzing buzzing Whole draws with these woods off the tees today, but it'll work. They call this stretch between like 10 and 14 Alligator Alley. How about this guy? I wanted to take the video of him here now because I'm sure when we get up there, he may not be there anymore. <laughs> He's kind of in my way though. I kind of need to go towards him. So <laughs> there's a couple of balls these guys in front of me just hit towards that direction. So this could get interesting. <laughs> Well, the alligator didn't seem to care too much. There's a guy real close to him. He just kind of hung out and chilled, doing a little sunbathing. Uh, we're taking three wood. We're going right towards where their carts are. If we go too far right, we may not be able to get there. We're kind of going right into the wind here. So um, hopefully this is enough. Hopefully we hit it well. Hopefully we don't go in the water. Oh, I hit that so damn good. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Holy. Okay, I'm, I've never been more nervous to hit a golf shot in my life. <laughs> There's another one over there. He's got help. <laughs> Just gonna be very quiet. Got 130 yards, 50 degree. He just picked his head up. Please don't attack me. All right, we're on, let's get out of here. <laughs> I mean, this guy's looking at me, dude. You like the shot, brother? Come back, turn back. Oh my God, that's such good speed from down there. Not only did we get a full taste of Myrtle Beach right there, but we also just made par on the number one handicap hole. It's like 620 yards. <laughs> Come on, we're playing so damn well. It's just so refreshing to come out and be able to do that on the best course in Myrtle. Come on, on to the next. All right, there's an alternate hole here that we're playing. So the course is actually playing a par 71 because this is a par three. The normal hole is closed off. Got about a 175 shot here. Not gonna be able to see the green very well because of where the box is. But we got seven iron. Cool.
All right, chip it in blood. <sighs> Holy snap. Yeah, tough little chip right there, but hey, not bad overall. We still take it. It's just kind of funny that that's the shortest par three we're gonna have today, and that's the one we play the worst. Uh, par five, 500 in about 30 yards from the back box. Two bunkers that are guarding the right side of the fairway, which is actually kind of nice because we don't want to be in the woods on that side. There's more space towards the left. So driver, let's hit something nice and straight. We're gonna kind of take a line pretty much straight over towards where those bunkers are. Let's see. Pull you a little left, stay soft. All right. We are left, pretty close to pin high, just over this mound. Setting the camera here, up and down. This is a very gentle chip shot here. Yes, sir. Unbelievable, come on. All right, no more par fives. We have a 370 yard par four, pretty much dead straight away. There's a bunker on the right side of the fairway that I'm gonna try to carry. It's about 280 to carry it. Uh, we're just gonna really lay in a driver here, hopefully give us a nice, easy shot in. Who knows, maybe make another birdie, let's go. Yeah, a little roller up the left side. All right, we must have gotten a lot of roll here. We did cover this bunker with about 285 drive. I don't know where this was the first couple of days, but it's showing up and when it matters most. Uh, 85 yards, this pin is in a really tucked position. It looks like the green wants to kind of come back towards this middle uh, bunker. So we want to try to get something close to that pin as possible. Hunting for it. Let's see, 58 degree. All right, 17, par three, 170. Gotta get over this bunker. Um, I got seven iron, just helping wind. Had to be nice and easy to this. We've been playing a bit of a draw, so we're just gonna start the line right at the pin, and if we end up a little left, we end up a little left. Let's go. Oh yeah, we just got it today. <laughs> Turn, 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 turn. Wow. Come on. One more. Wow, what a round of golf we're playing. Here too, are you kidding me? Driver should be fine, we're going right into the wind. We have a forced carry to get to the green though, um, over some water, so. It's gonna be driver kind of almost over the line of these trees actually, if we keep playing for this draw. And that should hopefully leave us a wedge in, but even if it's a nine iron, eight iron, we'll take it. Come on, one more good hole. All right, this is kind of rocky, um, too rocky for my own tasting. Pretty much every bit of it is. I really don't want to hurt the new iron, so I'm just going to go into the fairway just a touch, just a touch. We still have to hit a really impressive shot right here. About 165, a little into the wind, and we still have to hook around these trees a touch. So we got seven iron. Let's see if we can pull off a little bit of a hero shot to finish off this round. Oh, it's way too much hook. That's way too much hook. That's gonna be left of the green. <laughs> That's the right idea. <laughs> when we were about pin high, we just put so much right to left on that. Got a lot of green to play with. Let's get this one close, finish off with an up and downer. That could be really good. It is really good. Just got it all today.
Wow. I <laughs> don't really have the words, friends. I'm thinking of that triple. <laughs> Uh, that was just, everything came together. It's funny how golf is. You go from episode three at Tidewater, if you haven't seen that yet, uh, that was one of the more average <laughs> rounds that we've played in a long time, to jumping onto one of the more difficult courses, the number one rated course in Myrtle, and almost shooting our record. Uh, just, what a trip, man. What an unbelievable trip. I really hope you guys enjoyed this content. This was so much fun for me to film. I know it's gonna be fun for me to edit, so I just really hope that showed up while you guys are watching. I don't know what's coming up next. We're gonna be dealing with winter golf from Britain much here on out so hopefully you guys enjoy the content if you're looking to come out and play myrtle beach look up myrtlebeachgolf.com they're the guys that set me up because the dunes is a pretty exclusive course you really can't get on it unless you use a booking service or you're a resort guest or you know a member so if you're someone who's coming out to travel i highly recommend all four of these courses they were such a treat to play so hopefully you guys again enjoyed the content we'll catch you right back next time until that point make sure you stay perfectly average Bye-bye.